sad to report that after a year fighting prostate cancer, Dennis Hopper died last Saturday and was laid to rest last week in New Mexico. I gotta say, any top five list of Dennis Hopper movies on Blu-ray is seriously incomplete. Most of Hopper's greatest movies aren't out on Blue yet. Not his work as James Dean's buddy in Rebel Without a Cause, his twisted photojournalist in Apocalypse Now, his awesome work in Red Rock West, The Indian Runner, Paris Trout, nor perhaps the best bad guy ever caught on film, the gangster freak Frank Booth from Blue Velvet, who still haunts me in the wee hours of the morning. Matter of fact, a lot of the not-so-extraordinary movies Dennis Hopper made, like Space Truckers, aren't on Blu-ray either. His scenery chewing in Waterworld, however, does live in solidly transferred 1080p Blu-ray glory. Joy will make that the first on our list of top five Dennis Hopper films on Blu-ray. For some of Hopper's finer moments on Blue, check out Crash, the TV adaption of the Oscar-winning movie. Hoosiers, the tiny underdog school fighting for the state championship movie that spawned about three billion knockoffs. Dennis Hopper plays a town drunk father of one of the players. The Blu-ray looks better than the DVDs, but it's not a spectacular transfer. Speed, opposite Sandra Bullock and Keanu Reeves' biceps, Hopper plays an awesome bad guy. Fox did a great 1080p transfer. This is mindless fun at its best. True Romance. I, okay, one of my favorite scenes ever for Mr. Hopper is in this movie. It's incredible, right? I, I, look, it, it, Tarantino writes a great script. Tony Scott does a good job directing it. I think Hopper has five minutes in this movie, but three of them are an epic face-off with Christopher Walken. And frankly, it's just another awesome scene in a big, fun, goofy, it's, it's an action-filled love story. It's crazy. Val Kilmer plays Elvis. Brad Pitt and James Gandolfini and Gary Oldman are supporting actors who, like, in a couple of cases, show up for, like, a minute. It's epic, epic crazy. Minutes. If you haven't seen it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Throw that on your Netflix queue. Absolutely. Finally, Easy Rider. The movie launched Dennis Hopper's career as director, won him a palm dollar at Cannes, rocketed a dude named Jack Nicholson from obscurity into stardom, and probably halfway destroyed Dennis Hopper's life until he got sober in 1983. You either think it holds up or it doesn't after four decades, but it's a landmark in small-scale cinema. It made $60 million at the box office on a $400,000 budget, and it kicked open the doors of Hollywood for a lot of young directors. Mr. Hopper, thank you for entertaining us for so long.